Hi everyone, I'm Carson from Guys With Games, and today I'm going to introduce to you something called a sticky ball. Uh, when I first got here in 2006, I had never taught in an ESL classroom before, and it was, uh, it was an intimidating time. I also didn't really know any games at that point, uh, because typically as a student in a North American classroom, I wasn't used to playing games, so I'm suddenly finding myself in this new environment where I'm the teacher, I need to learn how to teach ESL effectively and also how to play games to kind of entertain the kids. And so something else that was new to me at that time was this thing called a sticky ball. And so what is it? A sticky ball is this little plastic ball with suction cups on every side that could be used to throw at a whiteboard and it would stick there and you can use that to play games. But I had never heard of that. The concept was new to me. And so, uh, years later now, so what, it's uh, 14 years later, I don't personally like using sticky balls in the classroom, but they were an invaluable resource when I first started. And the kids still, to this day, enjoy playing these things. I just don't like doing it as the teacher. It's boring to me. So the very little children, maybe sometimes I'll play games with them using a sticky ball just to kind of let them enjoy themselves. Um, but let us know in the comments. I know many now. I know many games that use a sticky ball. I'll show you one today. And if you like this game and you want to learn more games that use this sticky ball, let us know in the comments and we'll show you a bunch more. OK, so the first game I learned when I first came to Asia uh, was this game called Sticky Ball Pizza. And you need to use the sticky ball. But how you, do it, how you set it up is you draw a big circle and you divide it into enough slices to accommodate how many students are in your class. And I like to, I have since added this little bullseye in the middle where if the student who throws it hits the bullseye, then they get their own kind of like individual star, good job, and then throw it again. But you're basically trying to eliminate these students one at a time. And when someone does get eliminated, they have to do the English task, whether that's at answering a question or asking one, or spelling a word or making a sentence, something. They, if the ball comes and hits Jim, Jim is out. Jim is out and Jim has to do the English task. So we're gonna have someone come here and throw the sticky ball. Oh, and another thing too, I like to add myself in this little sliver here to, uh, you know, kind of incentivize the kids. They wanna hit me and get me out because that's what kids like to do. They like to kill the teacher. So. I put myself in here on this little, little sliver, and if they can get that, I'm out of the game. But we'll get a student to come and throw a sticky ball, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, good job. So this time, Adam is out. Adam, you need to spell, you know, whatever vocabulary word we're doing, and then what happens to his space? Well, Sue and Eason are gonna have to play paper, scissors, stone. So paper, scissors, stone. Oh, sorry, Eason lost which means that we are going to erase this line, and now Eason is much bigger. So the kids will use this mechanic to make my small sliver of a space bigger. If they kill Eason, then I would need to play Paper, Scissors, Stone with Sue, and if I lost, my space would become extra big. But what happens if someone hits the, the star? Well, I typically, I'll write each student in my class their name on the side of the whiteboard for really little classes. And then if that was Ali, okay, good job. Ali, you get a star. This will be something that helps them get a bigger reward at the end of class, maybe stickers or just whatever. They like to have more stars, even if they mean nothing than the rest of their classmates. And so it's a kind of small uh, reward for playing the game and playing well. And that's Sticky Ball Pizza. So again, let us know in the comments if you like these Sticky Ball games. I know a bunch more and uh, we'd be happy to share them with you. Thanks a lot.